Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Tell me when you see it. Spaceballs, the t-shirt. Today is a fantastic day to watch yet another Mel Brooks movie and another Gene Wilder movie. I've always been a fan of Gene Wilder because of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, but just recently I found myself becoming a huge Mel Brooks fan, as you can now tell by my t-shirt. Also, today is a great day because A, it is Friday the 13th, and I figured since we are quickly approaching Halloween, today is the perfect day to finally watch Young Frankenstein for the first time. First things first though, before I jump in, I really wanna share some stuff with you. I absolutely love having this channel and I love this community so much. I have a PO box and some of you guys have sent me the craziest stuff. I'm gonna start off with this book. Obviously, because it's a P.O. box and people send me random things, I never have any idea what to expect. This is called Shirley. You can't be serious. If you guys don't know, I have reacted to Airplane on my channel for the first time as well. Feel free to go check out that video. I love the movie. Hopefully you love my reaction to it. Cannot wait to read this. If it's anything like the movie, I'm sure it's gonna be funny and maybe even a little bit insightful. One of the other things that was sent to me was this Spaceballs t-shirt. I just love how I got into watching all these Mel Brooks movies and people are like, let's send her all the merch we can find. But this next thing though, you might not be prepared, but I really hope this makes you laugh as much as it made me laugh. Behold, Perry Air. Someone took it upon themselves to be so creative and I'm assuming they printed this wrapping themselves and they like glued it together. This sent me so funny. But seriously, shout out to the freaking Mel Brooks fan club community out there. You guys are awesome. You guys are hilarious. You guys are so welcoming too. You guys are so nice to someone who is just coming across these movies for the first time. Also, I have a really, really funny story about this. Well, you might not find it funny, but I found it funny. I didn't really understand this joke in the Spaceballs movie. I found this out yesterday when I had opened this gift, but apparently this is a joke about the seltzer water called Perrier. Fun fact, did not know what that was. I don't really drink sparkling water. It gives me massive headaches and stomach aches all day. So I actually didn't pick up on this, but the funny part of the story is that when I first saw the can in the movie, the P looked very, very similar to a D. So in my head, I had read out derriere, like derriere meaning butt, bum cheeks, bottom, you know what I'm saying? So there Mel Brooks is in his scene. <laughs> sniffing a can of derriere and I'm sitting there like, what? I have no idea. Maybe that could be a part of the joke as well, but from what I understand and from what I was told from someone else that this joke is meant to be a play on the Perrier seltzer water. However, I got a totally different punchline from that whole experience. So from now on, I will only ever see that scene as Mel Brooks once again sniffing a can of derriere and that just sounds so wrong. Sorry, children. Anyway, I hope you found that story funny because I just, I, I felt so many things when I found this out. I felt dumb. I also thought it was hilarious, but I did not regret a single ounce of my confusion. So once again, thank you for these incredibly hilarious and thoughtful gifts. Not only have these movies brought me so much joy, but the community behind these movies, these beloved movies, you guys have been some of the most wholesome, kind, and welcoming people on the internet. All right, now back to Young Frankenstein. An overwhelming amount of people on YouTube and Twitter were mentioning how this one is their favorite Mel Brooks movie. He has not let me down yet, so I am very excited to finally jump in and watch this one. I am not gonna keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's jump in and watch Young Frankenstein. Also, happy Halloween. Bring it on, a Mel Brooks film. Wouldn't want it any other way. I cannot wait to see what all the hype is about. <laughs> Gene Wilder, the one. The only. I recognize that name. I also recognize that name. This has been like the, not a slower start, but it's been like a more relaxing start. The other two movies had like these 
big intros, big songs, like something. So it's interesting to see the difference. It's very soothing. It's like, what are we in for here? Written by both Gene and Mel Brooks. This is gonna be good. <laughs> Why am I already laughing? Nothing's happened. <laughs> okay, it's a bed. Bed skirt, maybe? No? Coffin? Coffin, okay. Baron von Frankenstein. <laughs> Jesus. Ah. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. Let's just take that from him. He don't need any more. Oh, he does need it, though. He got something to say about it. <laughs> and then his arm just jumps ship. <laughs> There's very little of the midbrain that we can actually see. Ooh, anatomy. A rounded protrusion. The pawns, yes. Which passes out of the skull through the foramen mag. Should be taking notes. That's Frankenstein. No effing way. It's pronounced Frankenstein. But I said that before, ironically. To a famous cuckoo. <laughs> I said it, I said his name like that to be funny. And it's actually how he says his name. Oh, he is not a cadaver. He is not deceased yet. Nice hopping. <laughs> the way he said that, I found that so funny. Reflex movements are those which are made independently of the will. Like whacking someone in the knee, kick someone in the crotch. You filthy, rotten, yellow son of a bitch! <laughs> His delivery is so funny. It's already so different from Why like Blazing Saddles. Grabbing <laughs> I love it. He says and he adds the lines. You son of a In This poor man. Give him an extra dollar. An extra dollar. Yes, sir. <laughs> to the nerve root. It's always <laughs> My grandfather's work was doo-doo! <laughs> the only thing that concerns me is the preservation of life! <sighs> oh. <laughs> he is my favorite actor. <laughs> Class is... Uh, dismissed. Dismissed. I'm so sad he didn't do his normal Gene Wilder high-pitched dismissed. <laughs> He's the greatest actor of all time. Dr. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. From Frankenstein. Oh. He has such a magical quality about him when you watch him act. Of course. All aboard! <gasps> oh, it's her from Blazing Saddles too. Before I make a fool of myself. Ah, the nails! Oh. <laughs> Air hug? Air hug? <laughs> So that's, that's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> An elbow shake. Oh my. <laughs> Them two together. I can't. It's just too much. Truck 29! Oh, can I give you a shine? Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Just the way that he said that, I don't think, uh, <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, no thanks. His delivery in this is just, 
amazing. Unrivaled so far. <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> You're putting me on. <laughs> you must be Igor. No, it's pronounced Igor. Igor. <laughs> Perhaps I could help you with that hump. What hump? <laughs> I knew something was coming. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> Walk this way. No. No way. This way. No. <laughs> this is this is my favorite one. This is my favorite one. I don't think I've been able to stop laughing. It's actually ridiculous. Like I can't. It it hurts to stop. I can't. <laughs> Whoa. Everything about this, their reactions, it's, it feels genuine. It's like awkward, but there, it feels genuine. It, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. There. What? There, wolf. There, wolf. There, castle. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> Werewolf. There, wolf. Is it too early to say this is my favorite Mel Brooks movie so far? There's some huge door knockers. What knockers? Oh, thank you. <laughs> After you, Frau Blucher. Why does it keep doing that whenever he says that name. What was she, what was that face for? I'm so, I'm kind of confused. Blucha! <laughs> the staircase can be treacherous. I mean, yeah, there's no, there's no railing. This is not up to code. It's your home. It was your grandfather Victor's home. Yeah, the likeness. Dr. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. <laughs> I just hope they never get his name right. No, thank you very much. No thanks. No thanks. No. Oh, Valtine. No. <laughs> what's, he, what's he gonna say? Nothing. <laughs> thank you. Good I'm day, a little sir. Tired. This movie is making me not laugh. It's making me wheeze. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> good night, darling. I knew it. They had a thing. Good night, Frau Blucher. When I knew it! I, knew it. <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this movie. It's going to become my entire personality. I'm telling you right now. This is the one. I am not a Frankenstein. It's Frankenstein. I'm a Frankenstein. Don't give me that! <laughs> Hand me that candle, will you? Oh, oh. <laughs> Put the candle back. <laughs> Take out the candle. And I'll block no. the bookcase no. with my body. This is not a good idea. No. No. Oh, that hurts. Put the candle back. <laughs> Put the candle back. <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera. Oh. oh. Nope, just rats. <laughs> oh, it just opened. Good lord. Three years dead? Are, are we sure? Two years? Ew. 
six months dead. I was okay with not knowing any of that. Uh -huh. I <laughs> ain't got no body, and nobody cares for me. <laughs> Igor, Frederick. <laughs> Freshly dead? Oh. Call it a hunch. A hunch. <laughs> Might be dangerous. You go first. <laughs> you go first. She's like, thanks. Damn your eyes! Too late. <laughs> this movie just won't stop. How does anyone catch a breath while watching this movie? I feel like I can't breathe because I'm just laughing the whole time. I literally can't get over the freshly dead joke and he starts singing. Oh, so funny. A couple of throw pillows. Just <laughs> a what? Just a what? I never thought I'd say this, but I think Igor is my favorite character. I thought it would be Gene Wilder's character, Igor. Everything he does is funny. This was so unexpected. This explains the music. Yeah, but who was playing it? But who was playing it? Bingo. How I did it. Did what? <sighs> They're all bored. Upon lifeless matter! I love when he does that voice. I love it. I love it. That's Gene Wilder. It can't work! His crazy eyes are the best. He definitely has mannerisms with his acting, like certain things that he does, and that's one of it, and it's like one of his signature things. So, so funny. He would have an enormous Schwanstucker. Oh, uh, okay. What? <laughs> that goes without saying. <laughs> He's gonna be very popular. This. <laughs> the flood pants and everything. <laughs> no face, though. What? Oh, they're gonna steal the body. Could be worse. How? Could be raining. Yeah. <laughs> Cue rain. I love when Igor smiles. It's just, oh, it gives me life. It's gonna run over so, uh. <laughs> Why, you're chilled to the bone, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what an awesome sight. Yeah, of the feet. Thanks. Didn't you, didn't you used to have that on the other side? <laughs> the hump, <laughs> the hump, oh. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> He's never not funny. <laughs> okay, the hump's on the right side again. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh no, he, oh no, and then he's gonna, cause he, there's an abnormal brain next to it, and he's gonna grab the, yes! Do not use this brain. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is gonna get good. He is hideous. Aw. Oh. Do you understand? I understand, I understand, why are you shouting? <laughs> Did you tie off the kites? Of course. Of course, yes. Uh, check the generator. <laughs> yes, master. How they talk to him is so funny. And he's still my favorite character. Can you imagine the brain of Hans Delbruck in this body? No, I can't. Yes, Doctor. Doesn't he still have a lady Elevate friend? me. No, oh. right here. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, raise the platform. Oh. Oh. The platform. 
Oh, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Herself! He makes acting look so fun. He's gonna get electrocuted. Ooh. Ooh, that's freaky. Just waiting for him to wake up. Just waiting for it. His acting is as crazy as his hair. It's glorious. Nothing. <laughs> Son of a bitch bastard, I'll get you for- <laughs> Damn it! You'll kill him! You'll kill him. Quiet dignity and grace. Yes. <laughs> so there is some subtle breaking of the fourth wall in this. You can see that after you told him for five minutes. Ooh, pick me, pick me. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh, wow. That is so cool. I enjoyed that very much. Very hot better make damn sure. <laughs> very hot better confirmed effect. Confirm. Following in his grandfather's woodstops, woodstops, woodstops. Oh, woodstops, woodstops. You haven't even touched your food. There. <laughs> Happy. Happy? Yes, I am. The things he'd say to me. It's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. What the hell are you doing in the bathroom day and night? <laughs> Why don't you get out of there and give someone else a chance? You can see him not trying not to crack. <laughs> <laughs> it's alive! Is it me? <laughs> I thought he was looking at me. I'm waiting for the it's alive moment. <gasps> alive. <laughs> it's alive. It's alive. No one could do it better. Hello there. Beautiful. <clears throat> That's impressive. A strong core. Good. He wants a hug. What's the matter? <laughs> First syllable sounds like head. <laughs> Said. Head. Second syllable. Le sedative. 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 Dirty word. He said a dirty word. <laughs> oh, Jim. Jim. Sedative. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Said again? Said again. <laughs> His reactions, uh. Whose brain I did put in? Does he know? Abby someone. <laughs> Abby is someone. Abby normal. Oh. Normal. I'm almost sure that was the name. <laughs> Be normal. Inch white <laughs> gorilla. <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? Wait, wait, get up. <laughs> I wonder who that could be at this hour. Oh, this guy. Yes, yes. I've got to look normal. We've all. <laughs> Take any more. <laughs> it's a very real sink. <laughs> yeah, he just stuck him straight in his arm. <laughs> you are a rocket <laughs> I love the sabotage. Oh, th <laughs> there's the other dart. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, it's in all the tires, too. There she is. I was wondering where she was. I'm going to set you free. Would you like that? No. Mm. No. 
nope, we're good. That was your cigar smoldering in the ashtray. Yeah! <laughs> so that I would... Yes! Then you and Victor were... Yes! Oh, this is all her idea. Do you Oh, there he goes. I love my pretty little flower. Oh. Oh no. Oh, I love my flower. Mm. Oh no. Bra, don't you remember? I asked you to put Helga to. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Oh dear, nothing left. What shall we throw in now? Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You didn't look upstairs. They're sitting there arguing about it, and they could go look for her. Mm. <gasps> oh my god. Uh. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I have arrived. <laughs> oh, he can't see him. Mm. Oh, no, 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 don't speak, don't speak, don't say a word. Oh, this will be perfect. Match made in heaven. An incredibly big mute. <laughs> this is working out. How long I've waited for the pleasure of another human being. <laughs> the occupation of <laughs> worldly... <laughs> we mm. tend to forget the mm. simple pleasures. Mm. And the basis for... the whimpering for me I can't <laughs> a little wine with your soup oh he's whining all right long friendship oh no he's like are you kidding me <laughs> oh no wait he's gonna set himself on fire no don't inhale until the tip glows Oh, wrong tip. Dum, dum. Yeah, dum. Mm hmm. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Wait! Where are you going? Oh. Uh, I was gonna make espresso. Espresso. Oh, I almost feel bad for the monster. Like, I feel like he feels so out of place. It's, it's so sad. Like, I genuinely feel for him. <laughs> and this violin is not helping. <gasps> oh, he's luring him in. <laughs> yes, the sedative this time, not the sedative. He's out! I know. <laughs> I know. You're gonna show him love, but you're also gonna bring fire in. Let me out of here. Get me the hell out of here. What's the matter with you people? I was joking! <laughs> Don't you know a joke when you hear one? <laughs> Jesus Christ, get me out of here! <laughs> Open this goddamn door, I'll kick your rotten heads in! <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Give him a hug. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Hello, handsome! <laughs> me? You talking to me? Good! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> this is a good boy. He just needs some love. That we love him! <laughs> oh, I love him so much. Is Frankenstein! Oh. <laughs> that was so cute. He finally accepted his name. Frankenstein is dead. Whose family name was once both Remis and Infamous. Yeah. Frankenstein. <laughs> so infamous it is. The reanimation of dead tissue. <laughs> You're like, oh, here we go again. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. The creature. Aw, give him a name. Heel to toe. <laughs> yeah. Now dance. If he doesn't start tap dancing, I swear. <laughs> now just a jump to the left. Man about town. <laughs> Oh, is this gonna be good? Is it gonna Hit be good? It. Yes! A musical number, right? Come. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? You're kidding me! <laughs> Different types who wear a day coat, pants with stripes, or cutaway coat, perfect it fits. <laughs> <laughs> Look like Gary Cooper. Cooper Cooper. There is tap dancing. I am healed. Life is a wonderful thing, because without it, I would not be here experiencing this now. God, I wish I knew how to tap dance. Ah! <laughs> I still can't get over putting on the Ritz. No, 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 don't stop. For safety's sake, don't humiliate him! No, no! Oh, no! Is he gonna be put to death again? He's just gonna go full circle? Give you a little peace. <sighs> what? Ooh! Oh, I was not expecting that. Elizabeth here tonight? Yes, I will go prepare her room. Oh, I was wondering if she was gonna reappear. Yes. Uh, I mean, no for him, but like, yes for me. Oh, this is gonna be so funny. Awkward. Inga and Igor. How do you do? <laughs> Finance. Excuse me, darling. What is it exactly that you. <gasps> Finance. Nice play on words. Just having fun as you were driving. Man, I. What? Oh. Stop that. He. G. Wilder almost broke. You could see it. I love that. I live for that kind of stuff. Long night. If you need any help with the girls, please don't hesitate. <laughs> He's trying not to laugh too. That tells me that scene would have been so hard to film, keep a straight face, that they just kept that in there. <laughs> oh, did he kill him? I'm pretty sure that's his first real victim too, so. He was harmless the whole time until he was pushed to the edge. No tongues. Uh, ah. <laughs> Good night, darling. Mm -hmm. Good night, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. He I speaks monster, you. yes. I love her. <laughs> Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> <laughs> no lame. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> Did he claim another victim? Oh, uh. Did he just run into the tree. <laughs> oh, she not dead. And she got the hair pieces? Can't be serious. I'm a. What? 
What? Oh my god. Woof. <laughs> what did they call it earlier in the movie? He took but, but I didn't it was never that time. All the huh? Oh my huh? I am deceased. Am I am I still here? <laughs> this movie is genius level once again. Oh my god, he's now he's okay with fire. This changed his life. This changed his outlook. She got a new hairdo. This is truly life changing for everyone here. Little zipper neck. Mm. That's why I keep my change, okay? Come over here, you hot monster. Mm. This looks like it worked out for everyone. Oh, you men are all alike. <laughs> Seven or eight quick ones, and you're off with the boys to boast and brag. You better keep your mouth shut. Oh, I think I love him. <laughs> Seven or eight. Oh, good God. <laughs> that, that gave me whiplash. You are all the same. I think I love him. Oh. Come on! Come on! Oh my gosh. She, she wasn't mouthing the lines, I think. Fight creation! Come to daddy! Yes, doctor. Are you sure you want to go through with this? No. You realize you're risking both your lives? Is it, what? Excuse me? Yes. Oh. Two more minutes. What are they doing? Switching something? <laughs> They're using him as the battering ram. <laughs> nah, I can't be. It is. I said put that man down. It's the doctor. Oh, no. Oh. I live. Because this poor... Oh. Sponge cake on the little vine and, and chef. <laughs> Wait, so what about the doctor? <laughs> so his now ex fiance is probably with the monster still. Oh no, oh wait, did he kind of switch his consciousness a little bit? Or get mixed up? Honey, I hope you didn't find Daddy's little party too boring. I mean, he did it just... Say you liked it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> just for your shirts, and the other one is just for socks and poo-poo undies. Poo-poo undies. <laughs> She really embraced the do. <laughs> she is hysterical. Mm. Yeah. So monster got part of your wonderful brain. Mm -hmm. But what did you ever get from him? A little bit of monster. the monster secret weapon <gasps> Robin Hood men and tights just popped up behind the movie I think that was my sign it's official this is my favorite Mel Brooks movie right now and dare I say it this also might be <sighs> probably one of my favorite if not my new favorite comedy movie ever. And this is going up against the likes of some of my favorite comedy movies that I've ever seen, like Bridesmaids, The Hangover, like even considering all of those, this is up there. I don't even know 
if I got a breath in because I just couldn't stop laughing. You know, I always knew that Gene Wilder was just an iconic person, actor, performer. Obviously, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, that alone solidified him as being just one of the best actors of all time. But I think for me, it was also watching this movie, watching all of his mannerisms. There's something so unique about his ability with acting. He's so genuine. His facial expressions are on par every time, but he does this really interesting thing where he balances seriousness with obvious jokes, with perfect execution and timing of lines. One-liners too, like the joke is set up and then immediately there's a punchline and it's almost always like a quick one-liner or even one word. And sometimes there's no words. He just looks, he just gives a face and you just, you, you just lose it. Watching this movie and being able to watch him on screen the whole time, it made it such a fun experience. Like I got to a point where I could see the jokes kind of being set up and then I would just sit here on the edge of my seat and like, what is he gonna say? What is he gonna say? And then he never disappointed. I loved the Frankenstein joke at the beginning. When I pronounced it like that at the very beginning, like I, I swear to you, I had no idea. I was honestly just trying to be funny. And the actress, I don't know her name right now off the top of my head, but the one that was also in Blazing, saddles her part in this. I, I was like kind of scared that we weren't going to see her again after we saw her at the beginning and then we went a very long stretch of the movie without seeing her. But then for her to show up at the proper moment with that scene where, oh my god, Igor, Igor, Igor was my favorite character though. Sorry, Gene Wilder. But that scene where he stuck his face in her like fur shawl scarf thing and did that like with the with his face and you could clear as day see Gene Wilder try not to crack up. I think that might be my favorite scene, mostly because that is my favorite thing to watch with any sort of comedy, like skit show or comedy movie. I love when I can see the actors crack. I don't really know what it is about actors breaking character, especially like in funny movies. I think it's because laughter is contagious. So I just love watching other people laugh because then it just immediately makes me laugh. But it's better when you have a comedian, a professional comedian where it's their job to be funny and not break character. When they break character, you know that moment was truly funny. I will be thinking about this movie for a very, very, very long time. I can feel the obsession creeping in. <laughs> There were so many jokes and so many references that I picked up on that I am probably going to say every single day, any chance that I can get. I don't know if you know this about me, but I feel like a lot of my humor, a lot of my jokes that I even say in real life are almost always references from something else that I found really funny. I just feel like there were so many scenes in this that I could see being iconic. The scene with the revolving bookcase was so funny. Basically the whole beginning of the movie too was just like one joke after another after another after another when they were setting up all the characters. But once Igor was introduced, it, it was game over. At the end when the monster and the finance got together and she starts singing opera. Oh, I, w I was dead. Please. Indulge me. What was your favorite scene? What's your favorite scene? There were so many good ones I don't even think I can remember them all right now. I'm gonna have to either a watch this movie again, which <laughs> Not the worst thing. This is probably going to be a yearly rewatch for me if I'm being honest and I don't know if anyone Really cares about me gushing further about Gene Wilder, but I will there's that quality about his acting that you see in like every single movie that he's ever been in he did it when he was playing Willy Wonka he did it in Blazing Saddles he just he does this thing that I find so funny is when he gets into his yelling voice and he gets like the crazy eyes and he just keeps going higher and higher and and then speaking of higher there's another thing that he does that I absolutely love and he didn't do it at all in this movie but that's okay it's when he does like his little high pitch thing he did that a couple times I want to say in Willy Wonka he definitely did it in Blazing Saddles because I picked up on it but he is just such an iconic actor and I think his hair is probably the most iconic thing about him it really brings his whole look together because really I mean his hair looks just as crazy as his acting he was pure talent in a human body it just there is 
no other way to describe it. I think now I just need to go down an entire Gene Wilder rabbit hole. I can't think of any other movies that I haven't seen yet that he's for sure in, so I'm gonna have to look that up. But actually, before I started watching this today, I was kind of thinking like, well, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of approaching the end, I guess, of the main three movies, main three Mel Brooks movies that I was planning on watching, but I totally forgot about Robin Hood Men in Tights, which a lot of people have mentioned that to me, so I would have remembered it anyway. But I think it's so weird that right after the movie, like, when the credits started rolling, I immediately got an advertisement for Robin Hood Men in Tights. So I was like, that is my sign. So I'm glad I have yet another Mel Brooks movie to look forward to that again, a lot of people have hyped up. So far, none of these movies have let me down. Every single one of them have been hilarious. But the coolest part is that every single one has been hilarious for their own reasons. They've all been so different. Spaceballs was like, nerdy, spin-off, funny. It pulled jokes from all sorts of movies. It made references. It was very self-aware. It broke the fourth wall a lot. Where Blazing Saddles, no one was safe. Every single group of people was joked about at some point. It was more of like a satire. It was definitely raunchy. And that one, I think, broke the fourth wall the most. Where instead of it being like an element of the movie here and there, like it was in Spaceballs, there was a point where the whole movie just broke the fourth wall and just became something else entirely for like 10 minutes. And then this one is funny because there was a lot of sexual innuendos that were amazing. It wasn't even the jokes that were funny, it was the way they were delivered that was the funniest part. This one stands out alone because it was in black and white. Like it's just so cool to look at all three of these movies now that I've seen and just see how funny they were but how they were able to truly stand on their own. I cannot stop gushing about how fabulous these movies are and how amazing of a creator Mel Brooks is, and I finally get it now. But this one, this one is my favorite Mel Brooks movie so far. I am dead serious. I don't know if I plan on watching all the Mel Brooks movies. Like I'm sure the main three that I watched were fan fantastic, but I don't know if all of them are gonna be at the height that these were. But man, when I'm done, I'm gonna be so sad. It's gonna be one of those moments where you're like, what do I, what do I do? Where, what do I do with my life now? Discovering these and watching these for the first time has been an unexpectedly magical experience. But for this movie specifically, it was definitely because of Gene Wilder. For me, like, there was a little bit of this nostalgia factor because I, I just loved him as a kid when I watched him in some other movies. And this just made me realize, like, how good he was he really was. This movie and all of its jokes and references is going to become my entire personality going forward. All right, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you couldn't tell, I love, 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 love this movie. Love it. I hope you guys are looking forward to my reaction to Robin Hood Men in Tights. And if you guys are, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video first, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button to get notified for that video. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you guys have a really fun and safe Halloween, and I'll see you guys next time.